Hi everyone and welcome back to the Velvet Lounge cooking session. Today I am going to show you how I make basmati Indian style rice. Um, yes, there is a method to the madness of it. And I also already cooked um, some curried pork chops. I did a dry curry style on them. I will show you a video on that at a later date. And I created a curry, um, a, a vegetable curry to go with this rice and the pork chops. So I will show you what a plate looks like after I get it all put together. So I'll be back in just a second. And in the meantime, if you could just hit that subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. We only need... 20, I believe, six or seven people to get to 100 subscribers. When we get there, I am doing a huge, huge giveaway. So I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, so I have a full stove going here, but what I do is to make this rice is I start out with a couple tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. I have some heating in this um, pot right now. And what I'm going to do is add to that some of my spices. Yes, you should put spices in your rice. You should experiment with doing that. This is an Indian style, so those are the types of spices I'm going to use. I will add a couple bay leaves. And yes, they will boil. I'm sorry, they will um, fry or crisp up a little bit. I'm going to turn this heat down some. And... In that, this is going to be really hard filming with one hand, but my husband, who is just sitting on the couch watching TV, is not being helpful right now. Um, just because he put my memory card in this phone, he thinks he's all set. But I'm adding some dried um, basil, I'm sorry, bay leaf to this. And you just want to sort of shake it around. You're sort of just toasting everything. And I'm going to add a little bit, not much, of this curry um, that I like a lot. It's already pre-mixed. It's Madras curry powder. This is what it looks like. And it's actually from India. So it's authentic. And you just, you don't want to put a lot of this because you already have curry and all of your other components. And just sort of, just like the old days of Jiffy Pop popcorn, you sort of just want to move that around. You don't want anything in here burning. So if you have to, take it off the heat a little bit. And then the next thing I'm going to do is add some clove to this. Some people will even add a little bit of a... Um, cinnamon stick. I'm not going to add the cinnamon stick. And next I'm going to add the clove. I actually ground this clove. Um, you know, you could add one clove to this, but you have to remember to remove your clove and to remove your bay leaves before serving this dish because if someone bites down at either one of those, it will not be pleasant. So this is nice and toasted. So now what I'm going to do is add my rice. So one of the things that people do wrong is I add the rice to water. You should add the rice to your oil because you want to toast your rice a little bit so that it has, you know, a little bit of oil coating on it, but it also has more of a nutty flavor. I am using this long grain basmati rice. In to make this. Um, it actually comes in a little burlap sack and it is, you know, considered a specialty food, but I believe that it's only like $6.99 for a sack. And, you know, I like it. My daughter likes it a lot. Um, this is a brown rice. They do have one that's bleached, so you can get a white rice if you want. And, you know, just sort of shake that, stir it around, get your spices you know, mixed in there. 
and see how everything is getting coated. We're scraping down the spices from the edge of the pot. Spread that out a little bit. And the next thing I'm going to add is my water. Now, a, a cheat that I use is I will boil my water before adding it. This helps the cooking process. going to add about two and a half cups of water to this. And if you need to add more, you can. And you see the water was already boiling. The pot was already really hot. So you, this will help the cooking process go faster because you're not starting with like cold water, cold rice, cold spices. You know, everything is already heated up. So you just want to stir everything in. And then you want to leave this to boil. So I am going to actually, actually, I'm sorry, you're going to let it boil for like maybe two or three minutes, then put your lid on and let it simmer. So you'll turn your heat down to like a medium to low heat and let it simmer for about maybe 15 to 20 minutes. It's that quick. So while the rice continues to cook, I just wanted to show you this is my curry pork chop. I put a little bit of salad right next to it. And also I will show you the curry great vegetable gravy. Um, and in this vegetable gravy, and it simmered for probably like three hours, I added shallots, um, leeks, onion, there's garlic. Um, I put different spices in it. I had curry, a bunch of curry spices, um, some black pepper, clove. Of course, there's a bay leaf. You can see part of one in there. Obviously, no one will eat that. And I added um, a poultry stock to it. And this is something that you can make and use as your gravy alternative, so you have a healthier alternative, alternative as well as you can freeze this um, for future use. So this will be going on our rice. This is the rice. You can see how it's doing. You can see most of the water has cooked out of it. And you can see that there's still a reserve of water in there. That's totally fine. Because with basmati style rice, what you do is you drain any excess water off. So this is looking really good. I'm going to give it another 10 minutes or so, and it should be ready. So here we are with an almost completed plate. And the other things I forgot to tell you that I added to my gravy are tomato as well as mushroom. And I'll just add a little bit of that to the rice. You know, however much you like. You know, add what you like. And the rice smells amazing. You can smell all those spices. That's why roasting the spices is a huge secret to this dish. Also, um, when you toast the rice the way I did, it allows the rice to easily come out of the pot. So there's no sticking. So it's easy to clean. So here is my curry pork chop with a little bit of salad, basmati rice, um, made Indian style, with a curry vegetable gravy. Enjoy, and please remember to subscribe to the Velvet Lounge, and once we hit 100 subscribers, we are going to have a giveaway. And also, um, leave a comment, um, any suggestions that you have for upcoming videos or anything you would like to see. And I hope you have a great Saturday and stay warm.